For over a decade, Andrew Sweetman and his team have been exploring the ocean floor, particularly the Pacific's Clarion-Clipperton zone. This area is scattered with polymetallic nodules, rock formations as large as potatoes, containing valuable metals like lithium, copper, cobalt, manganese, and nickel. These metals are essential for making batteries, attracting deep-sea mining companies eager to harvest them. While these nodules are a promising source for battery materials, Sweetman believes they might be producing something even more remarkable, oxygen. Typically, oxygen is produced by photosynthetic organisms, but light doesn't penetrate 4,000 meters below the ocean surface. In a groundbreaking new paper, Sweetman and his team at the Scottish Association for Marine Science suggest that these nodules might be driving a unique reaction, generating dark oxygen from seawater. Back in 2013, Sweetman noticed something unusual. While measuring oxygen flow in areas rich with nodules, he observed an increase in oxygen levels at the seafloor, despite the absence of photosynthesizing organisms. Initially, he thought it was a measurement error. However, the same results emerged in 2021 using a different approach. The team used a benthic chamber, an instrument that encloses a sample of the seabed environment to measure changes in oxygen levels. Contrary to expectations, oxygen levels in the dark chamber increased, indicating a non-photosynthetic source of oxygen production. The researchers ruled out the presence of oxygen-producing microorganisms and hypothesized that the nodules themselves might be the key. After numerous lab tests, they discovered that the nodules function like a geobattery, generating a small electric current, about one volt each, that splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. Although the exact mechanism behind this oxygen production remains unclear, and whether it's enough to sustain an ecosystem is still unknown, the findings raise fascinating questions. Could the electrolysis driven by these nodules have been the spark that initiated life on Earth? Sweetman proposes that this hypothesis deserves further exploration as it might even suggest the possibility of life on other planets. These revelations underscore the importance of protecting the deep seabed from industrial exploitation. Over 800 marine scientists from 44 countries have already signed a petition urging a pause on deep sea mining due to broader environmental risks. Despite the compelling nature of these discoveries, there are skeptics. Critics from the seabed mining industry, including Patrick Downs of the Metals Company, argue that the findings result from external oxygen contamination. Downs states that his company, which partly funded Sweetman's research, will soon publish a paper challenging Sweetman's conclusions. As the debate continues, Sweetman's research opens a new window into the mysterious world of the deep ocean, revealing the unexpected ways life and essential elements might interact in the darkest parts of our planet and potentially beyond. Please subscribe for more videos like this. See you in next video.